friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's June, so that means it is time for my main favorites. This is one of my favorite videos to film and one of the hardest videos to put together because generally I have so many new favorite things that I have a hard time narrowing it down and May was much more of the same when it comes to narrowing down my favorite things. I have lots of WW food favorites, beauty favorites, and then I have a couple of health, home type of favorites to share with you as well. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't subscribed to my channel, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, I will link everything I share with you today that can't be found at your local grocery store. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I do personalized macros and calories to help you reach your goals and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Also links, discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group will all be down in that description box. So definitely check it out before you go. So let's jump in to my May favorites. up a little bit this month. Normally I start with my WW food favorites, but this month I only have one body care item and one fashion item that I want to share with you. So we're going to start with those, starting with the necklace that I have on. The couple pieces of jewelry that I'm going to be sharing with you today come from Sylviac's Personalized Jewelry. If you watch my channel, you know that I have worked with them in the past and I'm so excited to be partnering with them for this portion of today's video. I love their jewelry. I wear it all the time. I am really big into personalized jewelry. It just holds a special place in my heart. Every time I wear it, every time I see it when I'm wearing it, it just brings a lot of warmth to my heart. So I'm so excited to be sharing with you the two personalized pieces that I picked out. The first one I'm actually wearing today and I'm obsessed with this. So this is a birthstone necklace in the shape of a heart. So you can see that I chose all of the April birthstone diamond because I didn't want it to be necessarily birthstone based, but I do like the option that you're able to pick your children's or your family's birthstones. Again, I went with diamonds and you can see here that my family's names are around the heart. So there's Troy, Palmer, Diesel, and Lola. So this literally brings me so much joy just to have all of their names close to my heart. I think it's stunning with the diamonds. And again, you could do their birthstones if it was your children, even your pets, but I absolutely love this necklace. You can choose the length of the chain. I went with the longest length. I like to be able to wear it with really anything that I'm wearing and I love it. I would say that this is one of my top five favorite necklaces that I have. This is the second necklace that I chose. You can see that it is in rose gold and it's my name with a little gem. So again, I just chose the April the diamond. You could choose your birthstone. You could just really choose any color gem that you like, but I love this. I think it's very, very pretty. I love the font. I love that you can choose rose gold, gold, silver. They're very, very high quality. And again, you get to choose your chain length. I generally go for a medium to a longer length of chain, just again, so I can wear it with everything. All of the necklaces come in these really nice boxes with a cleaning cloth. So I just generally leave the necklace in the box with the cleaning cloth. That way everything is at my fingertips when I want to wear it. I love this and I love this. I will make sure that I link the Sylviax website down below. Super affordable for high quality personalized jewelry. And I will link these two items as well for easy shopping for you. And again, thank you to Sylviax for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. And the body care item I wanna share with you is something that I've recently really gotten into. I shared one in, I think last month's favorites, and these are silicone body scrubbers. So instead of using loofahs, just because they collect a lot of bacteria, I've really been into the silicone body scrubbers. They also are great for exfoliation. So this is my new favorite body scrubber. This is the Body Cleansing and Massage Body Brush from e Tear Beauty. You can pick this right up on Amazon. So it comes in three different colors. I have all three, so I'll insert some clips here of the different colors. But you can see that it is a mitt style body scrubber. So it slips right on your hand. The one that I shared with you guys last month, I believe, is not a mitt style. So 
once my hands get wet and soapy, I actually have a pretty hard time hanging on to it. These have been huge game changers. So again, it's a mitt style. One side has the nubs on it and the other side is more of a smaller, softer bristle. So whatever you're looking to do, whether it's just to cleanse your body or exfoliate your body, it has you covered. And again, I love that it is the mitt. It just stays on your hand much, much easier. It has the little hole here in the top and I just hang this in my shower. These are much more hygienic, much easier to use. They're made from food grade silicone. They're hygienic. Hygienic, they're space saving, big game changer for me. I will never purchase another loofah sponge. I will link their website down below in all three of the colors of the body scrubber. Super, super affordable and they last a very long time. I generally use mine for several months before I swap it out for a new one just because they don't harbor bacteria like your traditional loofah. Now let's jump into my WW food favorites. Like I said, I have a lot to share with you this month. Starting with these dumplings from the Vibigo brand. These are the chicken and vegetable dumplings with sauce. I've shared these in a couple grocery hauls and I love these. These are such a quick, easy, delicious, and filling lunch. Again, these are the chicken and vegetable. You can have the entire box or the entire tray of dumplings for seven points, which is not bad at all. The sauce is that perfect salty sweet. So I love these quick, easy, in a pinch lunch or even a dinner. I also recently shared with you guys Topo Chico, which is now my new favorite sparkling water. It comes in just traditional sparkling water, hint of lime, hint of grapefruit, so delicious, zero calories, zero points, nice bougie glass bottle. I'm loving these. I find these at both Target and Walmart. Let us know down in the comments if you've seen these in other stores in other parts of the country. This is the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato. This creamer is so good. One tablespoon is 40 calories or two points and it is Starbucks Caramel Macchiato vibes. It literally makes me feel like I'm indulging in a really delicious high point high calorie Starbucks drink. It's so good. It's so creamy and flavorful. Little goes a long way. I am loving this. I can't wait to try the white chocolate as well. You know I've been loving the Charlie and the Peanut Butter Factory Little Peanut Butter Cups. I love these for 1.40 calories. These are great to just pop in your mouth on the go if you need a quick pick-me-up. They're great to satisfy that sweet tooth. Excellent pre post workout. These small ones are only 1.40 calories. They also have the large size, which are four to five points and about 170 calories. They have cookie toppers, almond butter, smooth. These are so, so good. I've been raving about these on my Facebook group. I've shown them in several What I Eat in a Day videos. They gave me a 25% off link for you guys. So if you're interested in checking them out, I would highly recommend these. I think they're great as a quick snack. Another thing you can do with these is pop them into a smoothie. So I'll link it down below for you guys again with 25% off. I've been loving this Chobani low sugar Greek yogurt. I bought this variety pack at Costco and I'm really liking this yogurt. It's very thick and creamy and indulgent. It is four points per container, 120 calories per container. I love this. I top it with just a tiny bit of granola. My favorites are Julian Bakery and Purely Elizabeth, which I have favorited both of those in the past. And we'll link Julian Bakery down below for you. But this has become a really good sweet satisfier, protein packed snack for me. I'm definitely picking up another case next time I go to Costco. This healthy choice plant powered ranch dressing is so good. You can see we've used up most of the jar already. This dressing is delicious. It's 45 calories for two tablespoons. I believe it's one point, but I'll put it here on the screen. It's really good. It does have a little bit of a different aftertaste, and that may be from the plant-based ingredients that are in here. But if you're looking for a low calorie, low point ranch, this one's delicious. I found it at Walmart in the same aisle as all of the other salad dressings. I'm obsessed with this syrup. You guys know I don't do sugar-free syrup, but this Lakanto cinnamon maple is amazing. What I appreciate about Lakanto is they don't use a lot of sugar alcohols in their syrup. They are made from monk fruit sweetener. This cinnamon maple one is so, so good. It's super sweet. If I'm trying to save on calories and points on my syrup, I will use this. Also, if I'm having something that could really benefit from that cinnamon maple flavor, 
I've been using this. You can see we've used a lot of it. I bought this on the Lakanto website. I will link Lakanto down below. I always have a discount for you guys off of their website. But if you like sugar-free syrup, this is two tablespoons for 15 calories or one point, I believe. So, so delicious and much better ingredients than store-bought sugar-free maple syrup. And this is my last WW food favorite. This is the collagen protein oats from Purely Elizabeth. I have the blueberry and walnut. These are so good. They're so easy to make. I just pop them in a bowl with some water in the microwave. They have protein, they have collagen, really, really nice, clean ingredients. I bought these off of the Nutrition website. I've honestly never seen these in my store. So if you have seen these collagen protein oats in your store, let us know down in the comments. Now let's jump into my beauty favorites. If you don't already follow me over on my beauty channel, I'll link it down below. It's called Budget Beauty. Definitely head on over there and follow me if you love beauty and skincare on a budget. I do lots of dupes, TJ Maxx videos, subscription unboxings. I'd love for you to join me over on Budget Beauty. Again, it's linked down in the description box. So to start out my beauty favorites, as we're moving into summer, I've really been getting into more of tinted moisturizers. I actually did an entire battle of the tinted moisturizers on my beauty channel, so check that out. And when I put on a tinted moisturizer, because it is a little bit lighter coverage, I like to mix an illuminator on my skin with my tinted moisturizer. Now today, I'm actually wearing the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I'll link that down below for you. It it is a more full coverage foundation, but I love it. It is perfect for combination or dry skin. Wouldn't recommend it for oily. It just doesn't stay on the skin that well all day. But if you have combination or dry skin, highly recommend. So when I apply my foundation, just as I did today, I like to apply an illuminator. This one's my favorite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm in the color 2.5 Fair. Now I love this, but it's expensive. It's about $45. And what it does is basically adds some illumination to your face. So I apply a little bit of this to my skin before my foundation. And then I blend my foundation along with this for that more flawless illuminating look. So that's what I have on today with the Good Apple Foundation. Now, if this is a little bit out of your budget, this one from NYX is my other favorite. In fact, I actually prefer this over that one, and this is $7.50. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is the color Gleam. I actually have all of the colors that it comes in. I love this. And again, I just apply a little bit to my face, then my foundation or tinted moisturizer. And I just love that summery, glowy look that it gives you. So if you're more on a budget, highly recommend. And honestly, like I said, I like this better. I will not repurchase the Charlotte Tilbury. I will just stick with my NYX, but both of these are great products. Also, as I get older, I am getting more fine lines and texture under my eyes. I have more texture dry under eyes. Sometimes when I apply concealer, Concealer, it just settles into those fine lines and it can come off really cakey. I do watch a lot of beauty YouTubers and I did see this product from Kapari. This is the Kapari Starry Eye Balm. Game changer if you have fine lines under your eyes or your foundation or concealer becomes cakey in the under eye. This thing has completely changed my life. I apply a little bit of this under any eye product. So I moisturize with an eye cream, apply this Kapari Starry Eye Balm, then apply my concealer. No more kicky under eye, no more settling into my fine lines and wrinkles. A little bit of this goes a very, very long way. So if you suffer from any of what I just mentioned, definitely definitely get your hands on this. This has been the number one game-changing product in my makeup routine. Next up is this highlighter from Ofra. This is the Milk and Cookies highlighter. You can see one half is a little bit darker than the other. This is my new favorite highlighter. A little of this goes a long way. This is actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I'm using the lighter side, the Milk side of the highlighter. It is buttery soft. It blends like a dream and look at the glow that you get from this. So I will use this on my cheeks, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and sometimes right above my eyebrow. This is so, so good. Now, I don't have a code to Ofra, but a couple of the beauty YouTubers that I watch do. So I will link their code down in the description box for you so you can save a little bit of money. But if you're looking for a really good, high quality highlighter, highly recommend. Another thing I've recently really gotten into is cream blush. This is actually the blush that I have on today. This is the Tower 28 Cream Blush in Beach 
please. I picked this up on a whim because I've heard really good things about it from the Sephora website and I love it. I will probably purchase more shades of this blush, but I am in the process right now of getting ready to film a Battle of the Cream Blushes High End which this one's a little bit more high-end and affordable drugstore. So stay tuned for that video over on my beauty channel, but I would give this a million out of 10. It goes on so nicely. It blends like a dream. It stays all day and a little bit, again, goes a really, really long way for this. I probably will never use a powder blush again now that I have discovered cream blushes. The next product I wanna share with you is a skincare product. I love vitamin C. I put it on my skin every night as part of my nighttime routine. This is my new favorite vitamin C. This is from the Timeless brand. It is a 20 vitamin C. This is the best vitamin C serum I've ever used. It has no scent as it should. It is clear. It is the formula of water. It is that thin and it applies so nice to the skin. It soaks in immediately so you can finish applying the rest of your day or nighttime skincare routine. I prefer to use a vitamin C at night. It is the first step for on my clean face and this one is so incredibly affordable. This is the only vitamin C serum that I've been using and and that I would repurchase in the future. It's less than $30 for this and it lasts a very, very long time. I pump two pumps in my hand, press it into my skin, apply the rest of my nighttime moisturizer, and this has really made a big difference in the firmness and plumpness and made my skin just hydrated and beautiful. I know you can buy Timeless at Target, so I'll see where I can find the most affordable option. I just actually went on their website and ordered this and I love it. And of course, we have to end out beauty favorites with an eyeshadow palette as always. I recently just picked this up. This is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. This is the most I've ever spent on an eyeshadow palette. I have it on my eyes today, but I love it. I love, love, love it. It is probably the only Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette that I will own. This small size palette is $65. Her traditional size palettes are well over $120. Here is the color story of the palette. Isn't it stunning? Today I have on these blue green tones. Truthfully, her eyeshadow formula can't be beat. It is well, well worth the money. It's just hard for me to spend that much on an eyeshadow palette, but I do not have buyer's remorse. Again, I'm wearing the blue green shades today. I love them. I love the formula. It blends out so, so easily. I hate when eyeshadow is chalky or isn't blendable, and this one is well worth the money in my opinion. It is still available. It was actually a new release from Natasha Denona just a few weeks ago. So if you're looking for a really good, high quality eyeshadow palette with lots of look variations, everything from neutral to a little bit more fun colors, then I would recommend the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. So those are my May favorites. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the WW food finds, the beauty finds, jewelry, and a little body care product. It was so fun filming this video. I love favorites videos. I love to watch them. I love to film them. Again, everything I shared with you that can't be purchased at your traditional grocery store is linked down below for you. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the little bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Along with everything I shared today, nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, and links and discount codes to my other very favorite things are down in that description box as well. So happy, happy Sunday, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.